Hey guys, it's Rob. I'm just going to go through the process of updating my uh, Tyrannus. This is a standard Tyrannus with uh, OpenTX 2.1.8, which was just released recently. And I'm going to use a Mac um, to do that. So just take you through the, the process that I use that seems to work flawlessly. Now, I haven't rehearsed this. This is actually the first update. But uh, I've just had some little preparation by plugging in a cable at the back. And I've backed up the um, EEPROM. Just bear with me, I'm doing this uh, single-handedly, so I've got the EEPROM backed up and I've also backed up firmware 2.0.19 just uh, in case I want to go backwards, so that's all fine. So that's good. The other step I've done is just to install OpenTX uh, Companion on my Mac. Now if we open that up, what I'm going to do is just configure it for this radio and then download the updated firmware. So the first thing we do is go Preferences and just check it's the correct model. It's the Tyrannus, it's not the Plus, it's not the X9E, it's definitely the Plus. They're the options I want, no heli in this firmware and Mode 1 AETR. So that's all good. So what I want to do now is just download the update firmware. That's what we want, download firmware Save it on the desktop. Okay, close that. Close that, and there's the firmware we want. Okay, so the next step is to connect the radio. As I said, just bear with me, I'm just doing this single-handedly. So first thing we'll do is turn off the radio. We'll then turn it on using the three-fingered salute and then we'll plug in the USB cable. Okay, now when you do that, the drive should appear on the screen. Okay, there's the Tyrannus drive, and there's the SD card. If we open up the SD card, you'll see the structure inside. Just a little bit slow, I've noticed. And there it is. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to take this firmware that we've downloaded and put it in the firmware's folder. Confirm it's there. Okay, you can see the 2.0.19 firmware is there and so is the new one we've just downloaded. Okay, so what I can do is just close that. Now when I eject these drives from my Mac, as uh, some of you may know, the Mac puts a lot of trash files and other extraneous files on the um, SD card format which I don't really want. So I've got this little application called eject for windows and what that does is it just cleans it up and it removes all those extra files. So when I when I eject I'll just drag it to that application and it will eject by cleaning up the, uh, the folder structure. Okay, it takes a bit, but there you go. Same with the Tyrannus, just eject it by that eject for Windows. So it's just a cleaner way of doing it. Okay, so that's fine. So what I can do now is just disconnect the USB cable. Now, what we want to do is write the firmware. So let's go write firmware. Let's pick the firmware we want and just press Enter. Hold Enter to start writing. The write's complete. Just hit enter, go to an exit, and okay, it gives you the EEPROM warning. It'll update the EEPROM or convert it. Welcome to Free Sky Tyrannus. Switch warning. Okay. So I'm just going to go through and check that all those um, models are converted correctly. That's a bit of a process, but the actual update process, as you see, is fairly straightforward. Let's just confirm we've got the the new firmware. 
and there we have 2.1.8 so uh, all working fine now if I wanted to update the bootloader what I could do is let's just go through here go to the firmwares pick the one we want hold it and you can flash the bootloader I won't do that just now but it's just a simple matter of pressing enter you've updated the radio with a new firmware you've updated the bootloader and the whole process took about five minutes and uh, that was totally unrehearsed so it gives you an idea of how quick and straightforward it is thanks for watching